Good morning, everyone. It is currently 6.52. And um, originally, I did set my alarm for 5.30. And then I hit snooze. So, I woke up at 6.06. .06 and I put my workout clothes on, wash, wash my face, brush my teeth, and I put on just a little bit of mascara so I could feel at least a little bit alive. Um, I've been chugging water this morning and I put my workout clothes on and then I got into bed to read my Bible. I am actually going to be headed, um, heading out soon to go to the gym, so which I haven't gone to the gym in a very long time, but it's too cold outside right now and I was like, oh, might as well, like, I'll try this, a few of the machines. The sun is just now coming up. Um, it just doesn't rise on my side. I get the sunset. But, so that's why it gets, it stays a little bit darker on my side for a little bit longer. Which is also why it was such a struggle. I even opened half my shutters this morning because, or I left them open at night. Because I was like, oh, maybe if I see a little bit of light peeking through in the morning, it'll help wake me up. No, there was no light. I didn't wake up. So now we're here with it almost being seven o'clock but that's okay because we're still ahead of schedule than we normally would have been so what i want to focus on this week is going to be a early morning like kind of like an early morning challenge to really get the day started now what i was usually used to doing was yes my shift started at six but i would kind of it's not the busiest at 6 a.m so i would kind of like doze in and out and take a nap and wake up take a nap and then wake up and i had like really broken sleep from like 6 to 8 a.m so i wasn't waking up the earliest i was waking up at 8 a.m for the most part but i really want to make it a challenge to myself to wake up anywhere from 5 30 to 6 o'clock and not only to feel more productive but I feel like when I wake up earlier, it gives me a bigger window to get everything that I need to get done with less stress and less pressure on having such a time crunch because, I mean, when you're waking up earlier, you're getting a lot more done. So, like, you have more time to do that. And so that's my goal is just creating healthier habits and maybe if I can wake up like early again then you know i can they can help me with like my physical activity and everything like that so that's what i'm going to be doing i am already dressed i just need to put my shoes on and this morning i definitely will be taking some pre-workout because i am very tired i actually woke up super early on was it friday mm, i believe it was friday i woke up at 6 a.m also and I had so much energy and I think that's what I was expecting today. I don't have energy. I'm going to do some cardio. I think I'm going to be doing like intervals for uh, about an hour. I did mention last week that my sister created a running plan so that I can get back into that. And so that's what I'll be following today. And I mean, hopefully I can, you know, I can see results on that soon and I think I can like with running my body can get back into that fairly quickly um, it's just finding the motivation so that's what I'm trying to do but I will update you when I get to the gym or when I get back I don't know Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. I literally chugged the first one this morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so red. Um, so I'm just gonna take her out to go to the bathroom. I don't think I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take her for a walk right now. If anything, I'll probably take her out for a walk in the evening um, once I recover just a little bit because clearly I look like a tomato. So I'm gonna take her out really quickly, get back in, make my protein shake, take a shower, and I have to put my aligners back on actually. It's been more than two hours. So I'm gonna get that done and then I will get back to you afterwards. Alright, so.
so I am officially ready. It is 11.05. And honestly, I feel great right now. Like, I have so much energy. I already drank my protein shake. I drank my blooms. I'm on my second Stanley Cup. And... And I don't know, I just feel really good so far. I'm <laughs> trying to incorporate more colors into my wardrobe. So we are starting strong with this neon sweater. I actually ended up, I told myself I wasn't gonna go shopping. Okay. But this week, my sisters and I went thrifting. And oh my gosh, you guys, the amount of things that I got for like $2 each. I'm gonna justify that, okay? Because I know I'm trying to lose weight and I'm not trying to shop for my current size, but if I spent $2 or like one to $2 on a pair of pants and a top, like I'm gonna spend it. And also my aunt has this like little online boutique um, like where she resells clothes and <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to show you the pile of everything that I bought from her store. I'm gonna link it down in the description, but she has, she seriously just had such good stuff that let me just show you a couple pieces hold on i got this nike crew neck and i live in anything oversized especially if it's a crew neck or a hoodie so i got a lot i got this sporty and rich crew neck i bought this one as well this one so i got this one this crew neck and then oh this is the sweater to go with these sweats and i'm wearing a pair of 501 from levi's that she sold as well so yeah i did some damage this week but it's okay one i supported my aunt's business and two I bought like this giant bag at the thrift store like literally i was holding it like this the total was 23 dollars okay I got a ton of things like I actually came out with a lot of things the most expensive thing that I paid for was five dollars so I'm gonna just buy it and <laughs> I mean it doesn't hurt me to get rid of it when I'm no longer that size so it's okay I needed a few tops I needed a few sweaters <clears throat> no I probably didn't but it's okay I'm just I spent a little bit of money I'm, it's fine anyway I probably won't pick up the camera again until tonight just to give you a little bit of an update about of the day like if I kind of crashed at a certain point if I want to take a nap if I got tired or whatever um, the only caffeine I've had today is that pre-workout and I don't feel like I need any coffee yet but usually when I go to the mall or something or when I just like step out I always want to have a cup of coffee so before I head out I might make myself a nice coffee to go so we'll see I'll keep you posted I have to do this like Thing for my aligners i have to do it like five minutes a day so i just like pop it in and it kind of helps the movement of my teeth so i keep forgetting to do this i'm gonna do this while i make my coffee coffees i like to like if i'm taking it to go then i like to do the coffee concentrate that's what it looks like and then if i'm drinking at home then i'll either do this or the nespresso just that's more though if i need to like really really wake up right now i'm not even tired i'm just craving coffee so yeah we're gonna take this with us to go Alrighty, it is currently 5:03, and i'm pretty beat so i got to the mall around 12 40 and funny i actually ended up running into my sisters there so we ended up spending like the whole day together and i'm exhausted and i think it was more though because we were walking around so much we actually ended up going to two different malls so because one of them didn't have all the stores that we were looking for so i think that's what kind of wiped me out a little bit and I want to take a small nap, nothing huge, because if I take too long of a nap, then I'm not going to be able to go to sleep early enough to wake up at the time that I want to tomorrow. So I think I want to try to wake up at 5.45 tomorrow. But um, 
yeah so i'm just gonna close my eyes for a little bit maybe like a 30 minute nap i think i should be okay with that and i will keep you guys updated um i'll give you like one last update tonight kind of see how i'm feeling but for right now i'm like ready to crash so just for a mini update it is currently 6 45 p.m if this thing will focus my nap was only supposed to be 30 minutes and it turned into an hour and a half i would have stayed asleep but if I stay asleep, then I'll wake up around 8 o'clock and then I won't be able to go to sleep early like I planned tonight. So I forced myself awake. I'm, I'm really going to do my best to go to sleep early. Um, but that's basically the update for today. I was doing really good. I had so much energy. And then I just hit a complete wall at around 5 o'clock. I'm exhausted right now, but I am going to force myself to stay awake. Excuse me. And then um, I'm probably going to be in bed by like 9.30, 10 o'clock. Also, I've been taking in this melatonin tea and it really like, it really knocks me out. I might end up taking that again if, you know, this snap keeps me a little bit awake later on. So we'll see. Um, but other than that, I'll just update you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully I can wake up at the time that I plan this time. And I hope i don't hit the snooze button but we'll see it's all part of i mean that's the whole part of this experience that i wanted to film it like how well am i doing on it like is it easy or hard for me to be able to do so it's all part of it it's totally fine and uh, but yeah i will just update you tomorrow morning <laughs> did wake up at 5 30 today which i'm really happy about um not gonna lie my sleep last night was really really bad um work just got busy in the middle of the night and normally i work day shift but the night shift was a little bit crazy and they needed my help so my sleep kind of sucked last night um but surprisingly enough Sorry, I couldn't find my current glasses that I wear, so I had to get my old pair. Um, but my, like, waking up, surprisingly enough, was not difficult at all. Like, I actually, not only did this alarm, like, wake me up so gently, I feel like that helped a lot. But, um, I don't know, it was just the easiest thing to wake up. Like, I didn't struggle, I didn't click snooze or anything like that. I lay down with just like my eyes open like I, I did not want to risk closing them I was just laying down and just for like five minutes and I was able to get up like nothing so I don't know what it is but whatever I already washed my face brushed my teeth um, and then I put my workout clothes on and then read my bible I don't have an issue like getting back into bed to read uh only because and because i normally i would have fallen asleep the only reason i didn't have any problem with it and staying awake is because i'm in workout clothes and personally leggings are not comfortable to me i could not sleep in them like to me i might as well be wearing jeans like they're that uncomfortable to me so i trust myself to get back into bed to read my bible and pray um with this outfit on that's the only way otherwise if i was in my sweats and a t-shirt like i would have fallen asleep no doubt about it but like i said it is well still around 6 12. i'm going to put my shoes on get some pre-workout it's still pitch black outside but it's okay we're gonna get an early start i'm going to take my pre-workout and we're gonna head to the gym but when i get back from the gym um i do want to make 
some pancakes just because it's my mom's birthday today and she's had this tradition ever since we were little kids that she would make these like mickey mouse shaped pancakes and then she would do like this face with whatever we had in the pantry so it could be cereal it could be raisins chocolate chips whatever it, like she just got creative with it so this is the first year I'm not able to celebrate her birthday in the same house since we all kind of moved to different homes uh, last year. So I want to surprise her and take that to her um, once everybody's like fully awake. So that probably won't be until around 9 o'clock or so, but I do want to make sure I do that for her. So it's her 50th. Super excited. It's a huge milestone. Her birthday party is coming up next week. So she's super excited but yeah that's the plan so far for this morning i feel pretty good i don't think i mean unless the pre-workout works a miracle this morning i don't think my run is going to be as good as it was yesterday um just i don't know i like my body doesn't 100 percent feel like i'm able to do that right now i'm gonna try like for sure i'm gonna shoot for it but um I don't know. I think if I do it, it's going to come with a little bit of a struggle, but that's okay. As long as we get it done, I am just trying to work out early in the morning to get that out of the way. Um, and yeah, that'll be it. I will update you guys after. <coughs> currently 6:25. we are way earlier than we were yesterday so i'm very excited about that it's currently 45 degrees i don't know if you can see there's a guy in the background working out let's see how much we can get done at the gym today Alrighty, so the point of this is not to be healthy. It's her birthday, so the point of it is just to taste good. Now we're gonna make the rest. My dad gets regular pancakes because it's not his birthday. So. It's just the way it works. And that one actually came out really ugly. That's actually really disappointing. Oh well, it's fine. Thank you. 
the point of this is to make a little face like a little mickey mouse and then a little face out of whatever you have in your fridge or um pantry or whatever and it's usually cereal fruit and candy so my boyfriend thinks these are so creepy but <laughs> This is a tradition that I grew up with every single year for anyone's birthday. My mom would make these pancakes for us and we would get so excited. And yes, they might look creepy, but we would get so excited seeing this. Like, we already knew to expect this breakfast every single birthday. So. It is actually really creepy, but it's okay. Also, the reason I have so much cereal, uh, my family, we all grew up addicted to cereal. I think it's something, my grandpa, he has an addiction to cereal, so we all, every time we'd go to the grocery store, we'd come back with like five boxes of cereal, so that's why I have such a huge variety. All right, so this is the final result for her birthday pancake. I'm going to cover this up and then when she get when I get there, she can just like drench it in syrup. Alrighty, it is currently 1:34. I think I hit an afternoon slump. I'm exhausted. Like I'm actually really tired. So I think what I'm going to do is take a small nap. I do have church tonight. I have to leave the house by, mm, my sister's in the choir, so she usually ends up leaving around 6.15, 6.20. So I think around four o'clock, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and just start getting ready so that I have enough energy for tonight. Man, you guys, I'm by no means a hair and makeup artist. And this is probably going to sound conceited, but honestly, the difference between a couple of hours ago to now, like, I even surprised myself. It's currently 6.20. We're getting ready to head out the door. She's calling me right now. Coming! Just showing quick outfit. So I'm wearing this oversized Nike crew neck. It's actually like a 2X, but I love I live in anything oversized. I'm wearing my Old Navy jeans and then my super old white high tops. So I'm headed off to church. Update, um, I took a nap and I was extremely tired when I woke up. So I ended up taking an Arbonne Fizz, which I feel awake right now. I don't feel like I can conquer the world, but I feel awake and that's all that I need. So I'm gonna give one last update tonight when I get home, depending on what time I get home, see how I'm feeling and I'll keep you posted. I'll talk to you after. currently 305 and I was starting to crash a little bit so I actually just finished my iced coffee 
Um, I wasn't... I was tired in the morning. Like, it was really hard for me to regain some kind of energy. But honestly, once I had breakfast and I started to get to work, I actually felt really good. So the coffee, I mostly had that because I'm about to go run a few errands right now. And I probably won't be back until later in the evening. We'll see. As of right now, I think I have some energy. So I'll be able to last, but I for sure won't be able to stay up late because I'm... Like, today was just a really exhausting day, so we'll see how the day goes, but I just wanted to give you a midday update, and I will give you the final one tonight. Hello, everyone. It is currently 9.41 p.m., and I just got back from my parents' house. We, like, just hung out. My, my aunt took some food, and we just watched a movie, um, and I'm actually getting pretty tired so my goal is to be asleep by 10 30 the latest but it's only 9 40 right now i want to get myself a little bit tired so what i think i'm going to do is just edit this vlog and until around like 10 15 or so and then last 15 minutes i just want to be in bed but yeah overall i felt really good today i did start the day off like completely exhausted but as the day went on, I gradually got more energy. And then around two o'clock or so, I did have, make myself a nice coffee, but it was mostly because I, was, I wasn't really tired at that point, but I was kind of preparing myself to be tired because I had to run a bunch of errands and then I was going to go straight to my parents' house. So I just knew it was gonna be a long day ahead of me and I needed some caffeine to kind of get me through it. Which I'm glad that I did because I would have, like, been asleep a long time ago. I would have taken a nap and then I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight. So, um, that's the update for today. I feel pretty good. I do want to try to wake up at 5.30 tomorrow and go straight to the gym. Because my mom, my sister, and I have a haircut appointment at 10 a.m. And that, I have to get to their house by 9.30 and then from there it'll be another 20 minutes. So... Yeah, we'll see how that goes, but overall, I would say it was a pretty good day. Tomorrow's going to be the last day that I film for this vlog. I did mention earlier, I think this is something I want to do just consistently after this, not just um, for like this challenge for this week. I do want to continue to wake up at 5.30, 6 o'clock latest, um, because I actually feel like I've gotten a lot done. I feel very productive, and especially in the morning, getting to go to the gym so early, or getting to go outside for a run or something. I've really, really enjoyed it. So I think this is something that I just wanna push through the little, um, like the, the crash that comes with it and then until my body finally adjusts to it. So fingers crossed, I really hope it goes well. But um, yeah, that's basically the update. I'm just going to edit a little bit and then I'm going to call it a night. I'm already starting to fall asleep, but I don't want to go to sleep just yet. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. It is currently 6.28. Um, I, of course, originally had to set my alarm for 5.30 didn't wake up, I clicked snooze, like, I want to say like twice or whatever. I ended up officially waking up at 6.05 and I got out of bed at 6. I'm already getting my workout clothes, putting my hair in a ponytail, and I'm going to do my morning devotional and prayer time, and then I'm going to hit the gym. I... I'm still going to try to do an hour at the gym, uh, but I'm gonna come home and take a super quick body shower and do my makeup because I have to be out of my house by 9.30. Actually, no, I have to be. I have to leave my house by like nine o'clock to pick up my mom and sister because we're all gonna go get a haircut. So luckily it's all in the same direction, but um, yeah, that's what's all. Our haircut appointment is at 10 o'clock and it's 20 minutes from them but like total for me it's a little bit of a distance so 
I am feeling a little bit better this morning as far as like a little bit more awake. Um, I still can't go to the bathroom this early in the morning, so. But of course, when I get back from the gym, I'm like rushing home because I have to go. I'm like, dude, can you just not cooperate with me? But that's life. Anyway, I'm going to do that really quickly and then put my socks and shoes on and just like, we gotta go. So I'll update you later. will say is that I definitely feel like going to the gym early in the morning is getting a lot easier for me. I'm really enjoying getting early workouts again. It makes me feel accomplished already so early in the morning and then it kind of sets me up for the rest of the day like oh yeah I've already gotten this this and this done like the day kind of didn't just waste for me you know what I mean like I feel like I'm already knocking things off my list or like feeling accomplished that kind of makes me feel better for the day it kind of relieves a little bit of pressure for me and you know working out obviously releases like any kind of stress or anxiety so I feel like if I start that so early in the morning then it kind of just sets my mood and you know it just sets me up for a good day like I, I personally love it and then really incorporating like my devotional first thing like as soon as I wake up which I'm so surprised at the fact that I've been awake enough to actually be able to like be actually focused and intentional with what I'm like reading and praying and everything like that whereas before you know you kind of get into like this slump and it's like you're reading and you feel like you have to read it over again because you didn't understand or you have to read it over again because you didn't pay attention and I'm kind of really shocked at the fact that I have been able to like really focus like so early in the morning and I absolutely love it so you know getting like my prayer time that before anything it sets my day up so much better than getting in a good run and now obviously we can get into like go ahead and sleep in every once in a while you know go ahead and take it easy in the morning or take it slow or whatever like I for sure took it slow yesterday um, but like kind of really not even forcing myself but just pushing myself to do a little bit extra the next day just is starting to make me feel really good about myself and now I weighed myself from last Friday to this Friday and natural fluctuation I gained a pound um, honestly I have been doing anywhere from two and a half to four miles every single day consistently like I have not missed a day my active recovery was yesterday I walked for two and a half miles and honestly I know that I took it easy because I was able to respond to so many comments yesterday while I was like I took that time to I kind of like knock like two two birds one stone you know what I mean like I was able to I I heard somebody say this on TikTok pair something um that feels like work with something that feels like fun and so I was like okay I've been putting off like going through all of these like comments which normally like I love but sometimes it's so much that it kind of feels a little bit overwhelming but I was like you know what I'm taking it easy on myself today at the gym I'm only walking I'm not even power walking I'm not jogging I'm not sprinting nothing like I if I can be on my phone you know scrolling through Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or whatever then I can reply to comments so I walked for an hour and just replied to so many comments and I feel like like that even that just made me feel like oh my gosh like I feel really productive right now I'm going back to like that was my active rest day or whatever like recovery day and I, I'm glad that I did it because my muscles today like my legs and even my feet feel so like rested like I feel like okay I've recovered enough and today I want to attempt to run again so I'm glad that I took that break for myself but you know natural fluctuation but I will say 
like I feel like my waist got a little bit smaller this week just because these leggings that I'm wearing right now last week did not look like this so and they're just like my Lululemon aligns but you know while <laughs> they might be the most comfort like comfortable like thing in the world they really like to show your shape in a lot of unflattering areas so <laughs> Today, I actually feel really good in them versus last week. I was like, mm, I'm gonna wear something oversized with it. And today, I'm just wearing like a regular t shirt, so I'm happy about that. But I'm like, uh, the scale is gonna go up and down, but I actually feel really like I feel more confident this week than I did last week. I feel like my face is kind of like slimming a little bit throughout the day. Like when I've been getting ready this week, I'm like, oh, like I actually really like how my face is starting to look, or um. I do really notice it like I feel like my stomach is getting just a little bit flatter um, and my waist is starting to go down and this is because like and it's not just one week's worth of workout working out okay like I've been walking consistently for well over a month and I just now started to run consistently but um, I feel like my progress is finally starting to catch up so I'm excited about that but I feel really energized this morning I feel like and I slept in 30 minutes I really don't mind I still feel like I'm going to get a lot done it's currently 653 I'm gonna say that I'll be on the treadmill by like 7 a.m. I'll be there for an hour like I, it'll take me 10 minutes to get home let's see 8 15 8 20 yeah I for sure I'm gonna have time to get ready like I'm just gonna have a protein shake this morning I'm not even hungry so we'll see how the day goes um as of this morning i feel really good and i feel like i'm finally getting into like a good place where i'm able to wake up and not struggle as much as the first day so very exciting and i feel amazing um i will update you after the gym Alrighty, it is currently 7.58. Um, today did not go as planned, which is totally fine. We're gonna have those days. I was planning on doing an hour of intervals and that would get me anywhere from that three to four mile point, but work got very, very busy. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I do dispatch for my parents' company, and I could essentially work from anywhere, but sometimes it's a little bit of a con because it kind of cuts me off from what I'm currently doing or whatever, so I was in the middle of my run, and work just got swamped. So that, on top of the fact that my stomach decided to act up, and I... I couldn't finish that so I did what I could which was 35 minutes of interval training which is still great I still got to sweat um, I think it totaled to about 1.7 miles or so because I was doing a lot of extra walking since I was on my phone a lot um, it was kind of a little bit distracting but it's okay after that I did 20 minutes in the sauna and I still feel really good. I'm still really proud of the fact that I did something. I moved my body today. I was able to get a good sweat in and tomorrow will be another day. So I'm currently on my way home. It's eight o'clock. I'm going to make myself a protein shake, take a body shower, um, get dressed and then do my makeup so that I can be on my way to pick up my mom and sister and then we'll get going for a haircut. But as far as energy levels go, I feel really good right now. So. So far, it's a good morning. I will update you, I'll say later on this afternoon to kind of see how I'm feeling. And yeah, that'll be the second to last update of the day and of this vlog because this is the last day that I'm going to be filming this like early wake up routine. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. Hello everyone, it is currently 4.45 and I'm officially home. I've been gone all day. And as far as like right now, my energy levels actually feel really, really good. Um, I also had a venti coffee, so that probably has something to do with it. But 
I got a haircut. I It's not styled or anything. It's just blow-dried. I told her that I was just going to style it when I got home. But, um, yeah. I actually really like it. And I'll show you guys, like, later on when I style it what it actually looks like. But... For the rest of the night, I'm just going to be focused on editing this vlog since I'm not going to have any time tomorrow. I'm going to be gone all day, so I'm going to just sit in my room and just edit for I don't even know how many hours. And then since it is Friday, I'm going to go to prayer meeting at my church, so I'll go there, come back, and then continue editing for the rest of the night. And I also have to paint my nails because I've been chipping them. Sorry if I'm out of breath, I just like ran up the stairs. Um, I've kind of been chipping them and they look really, really bad. So I am going to be painting my nails tonight because they look so ugly. Uh, but yeah, so far that's the update. I'll probably give one last update at the end of the night. And then I'm going to close out this vlog and we'll move on to the next one. I don't know what I'm going to do for ne my next video yet. I'm still thinking of a few ideas. I have an idea, but I'm not quite sure yet i'm playing around with a few different things so we'll see but i will keep you guys posted for the last and final update hello everyone it is currently 10:04, and i think this is where i'm going to close up the vlog and i'm just going to give a quick little recap about how the week went overall so i want to say like there was definitely some, you know, afternoon slumps and periods where I would get like really, really tired or it was really a struggle to wake up. Um, and then there were days where I had so much energy. I didn't need any help waking up. I didn't need to click the snooze button, nothing. So it was really a little bit up and down and it took a lot of adjustment, I will say, um, because I was used to waking up a little bit past eight o'clock. So... I mean, that made a huge difference for me, but once I was fully awake, I felt so productive. Like, I feel like it gave me such a bigger window to be able to get things done and with less pressure, so it felt less stressful. And not only that, I feel like waking up earlier in a time where, like, I'm the only one awake or, you know, I'm not being interrupted by work and, like, people and whatever request I have for the day like it just felt like having the morning to myself kind of felt like I already had my time and now I'm able to give others my time if that makes sense so I definitely want to continue this I would give this week a 10 out of 10 um also because it really helped me to I feel like I made myself do things without thinking because I was still <laughs> extremely tired and it was really nice being up before the sun was even out so i like as soon as i got up i got straight into my workout clothes and doing that really helped me get my butt into the gym and just start doing something and i feel like having such an early workout really like i don't know how i had so much energy but i did every like almost every single day of the week i had so much energy to be able to get just a really great workout there was two days of the week where i was kind of like it was a little bit in between but i still got a lot of activity in for the day um as far as how many steps like i took i because i was up so much earlier i averaged anywhere from like 15 to 20 thousand steps a day and that's i want to say kind of like there were days I did a lot more. There was a couple days where I did maybe like 12,000, but oh, my daily goal used to be 10,000. So to know that I hit like over 20 on some days, I'm like really proud of that. So um, I definitely want to continue doing this. And it was originally just supposed to be a challenge, but I for sure will keep doing this even after. So it's already 10.07 and I really want to make sure that I go to bed early because I want to wake up early tomorrow to do a workout, especially because it's going to be a really busy weekend. I want to have time for myself before it just gets super busy and chaotic. So I will for sure continue to do this overall i do want to start incorporating like a new healthy habit every week um like whether that be i don't know like journaling or 
maybe not touching my phone for like the first hour of the day or I don't know something different every week but yeah I do want to start incorporating more healthy habits into my routine and not to a point where it feels like you know I feel like some people do so many different things that it almost feels like a chore like you have to check it off your list and I don't want to do so much that it does that but I want to incorporate things that make my life a little bit easier and a little bit calmer if that makes sense so i really really enjoyed this and i will definitely continue to do it um but yeah i am going to close out the vlog here and you know thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way to the end uh please leave any comments of like any suggestions that you guys might have for videos any ideas any recommendations or anything like that i have gotten a few requests for like my hair and makeup like routine and all that i'm not <laughs> I'm for sure like not a pro with like all these different like brushes and foundations and all this stuff but I have a lot of fun doing my hair and makeup so I will definitely consider making one of those videos and also how I do my nails so yeah if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that feel free to leave them down in the comments other than that don't forget to like subscribe and I will see you guys all next week bye